You know, pork is a great item, and it's not that fatty. Anyway, we're going to have some tarragon pork loin, boneless, which I love. Every time I see pieces like that, you got to buy them. Just easier to work with. But the bone is good too, when you like to gnaw on the bone. Fresh garlic, fresh tarragon, you can't use dry tarragon, it has absolutely no flavor. Tomato sauce, chicken stock, white wine, salt and pepper, I make my own mix. And you don't have to fool around with the salt separate from the pepper. You put the amount of pepper in with the salt that you like and you're set. Did I say shallots and heavy cream? And then some flour to dust the veal. Uh, looks like veal, the pork. So let me clear things up here and get started. The first thing to do, well actually the second thing, I diced up the shallots and the garlic. I use four cloves. I like garlic. If you don't, just cut it down to where you think you'll, it's, it's just enough for you. Anyway, with the salt and pepper, sprinkle some on the pork. On both sides and then we're going to dust this in flour and we'll saute it either in butter which will brown if you use just butter if you clarify the butter it won't brown because you've taken the milk solids out and if you use butter and olive oil together less chance of a burn but I'm using straight olive oil because I'm staying away from butter. I use too much of it on certain recipes. Into the skillet, I'm using a non-stick. It just works easier for me, depending on what it is. This is uh, extra virgin olive oil. I use it for almost everything. I don't care what people say, why are you using extra virgin? You know, it's there and it's easy. So we take the pork. And dusting it means shake off. And do that to all the pieces. And then we'll saute. You can see how it's sizzling. That's a moderate flame kind of thick those pieces but we still want it to simmer in the sauce later and not be well done you don't eat pork well done anymore you're not gonna get sick so we'll raise the flame a little and then just after another minute or so just lift up a little look at the color if it's not there then don't turn it over Now you see it smoking? That's good. Because I'm sure we got some color now. That's fine. Now we're going to add, because I am lazy, but the flavor is going to be there. You see this whole package of tarragon? Well, you know, it doesn't last that long in the refrigerator. So if you don't use it up... Whenever I'm sautéing, the alarm goes off. I forgot to turn the fan on. This is the place that we're renting while our house is being rebuilt from Sandy by New York Rising. So we've got to live with what I have here. Anyway, I threw all of that tarragon on there. Let that sauté now, and we're going to take it out. The other side is going to brown up nicely. Then I'm going to add the vegetables. If anybody doesn't like what I'm doing with the tarragon, they can eat my chef's hat. Because right now, I'm smelling tarragon. So, 
that means the flavor is there. And it's going to be there. It's going to be there nice and strong. Now, if you don't like tarragon, don't use it. And the pork, we're going to take it out. It has a little play in it, but don't forget, we don't want it well done. And it's going to simmer in the sauce a little bit. That really has a nice aroma. Putting the shallots and the garlic. See, I'm using metal on a non-stick, but I'm not scraping the bottom. But now I'm taking this away. For proportion, and using wood. You just don't want to ruin a, uh, a non-stick over one little recipe. This smells so good. If you like tarragon, you'll like this. Oh, and also, you could buy a package of tarragon like, like what? And throw it in the freezer. It's a hell of a lot better than trying to use the dried tarragon, like I said, has no flavor. Along with its uh, relative rosemary dry, has no flavor. Now, into this, I'm going to put the white wine. That'll deglaze the pan a little bit. And this is easy to pick out. Just grab a stem later and it all comes out. With the flavor of it. That's my dog. I think he's getting hungry. He loves tarragon. That's reduced good. Now we'll add the chicken stock. And the tomato. this to look like uh, like a vodka sauce hopefully and the flour the fact that we floured the pork should thicken this up somewhat as soon as this comes to a boil I will add the pork now we will gently add the pork in there, that's pork flavor. And a high flame is good. Because this is going to reduce, so we might start, might as well start doing it right now. I'm not going to waste camera time looking at this. So, I'm going to come back to this in like two minutes see what it looks like. Like I said, two minutes. We're going to remove this. The pork has a nice feel. Now we're going to remove also the tarragon because whatever flavor it imparted it's not going to get any stronger see how simple that is you just avoid having to pick it chop it and now the last item, the heavy cream. <clears throat> I'm going to 
going to reduce this. Like I said, it's looking like pink vodka sauce, which is a great color, no matter how it's going. It looks like Newberg. If you know what Newberg sauce looks like, that's the color. Now we're going to put it back. This side, this time the upside down. I don't think it's a long video so let me let this run a little bit so you get an idea. Now give it a taste. Well, it's going to get stronger as it reduces. That is pleasant. You know when something is like pleasant and not overpowering, that's what that is. Now what would you serve this with? <clears throat> Being that there is sauce here, what would be nice with this? Pasta. Would work out with no problem. I'm going to remove this again because I don't want to cook it anymore. this reduce a little. This has to coat the back of the spoon. Not quite. Another couple of minutes like this and we'll test it again. So it's been about two more minutes and if you look at that, that's perfect. If you cook, if you reduce it any more, what you're going to have is uh, glue on the plate. So now you warm this up. Your pasta is ready, and now the pork is ready. That's warm. I'm not having it with pasta. I know this is, you know, the sauce is just okay for you. The heavy cream doesn't help. But I'm having this with broccoli, fresh steamed broccoli. Put a little sauce over. And there you go, that's my dinner. And just to make sure that we cooked it, let's cut into that and see what it looks like. Right in half. See, a little pink, that is perfect. little pink there not dry that tastes good I hope you enjoy this recipe